Hey, this is Alex Power with My Creative Cinema, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your Android tablet into the field monitor for your DSLR camera. Stay with me, we'll be right back in just a moment. So for connecting your tablet to the DSLR camera, you will need a few things. First, of course, you will need a tablet and preferably Nexus or Samsung. That's the two brands I've tried. You got to be Android, not Apple. And the camera preferably should be Canon. I haven't tried this with other cameras. I'll stick with Canon. Gonna attach this today to Canon 80D and we will see how that works. Now, uh, besides the tablet, you will need to get a connector, micro USB to USB female. And th these are cheap. I will leave a link in the description. So uh, I do recommend to buy some extra of those because they're not that uh, durable and then they break sometimes. Last thing you want to happen when you go somewhere and you're trying to do a commercial project and because of the little thing, you cannot use your field monitor. It's gonna be suck, so just uh, buy a few of them just in case as a backup. Also, you will need a connection cable. The one that came with your camera works the best. I've tried to make it shorter and I've used some other cables, but it didn't work really well, so uh, it was lagging. The original cable that came with your Canon camera is the best way to connect. And also, you will need a hat mount shoe. This one's made out of metal and it's really durable and I will definitely recommend this one over the plastic one. But you can use the cheap plastic one. This one costs only a few more dollars but it lasts longer and never breaks. So uh, it's a very simple one like that. And in order to attach the tablet, I've previously showed this in one of my reviews I think, the this particular device called eye stabilizer so you just put your tablet and it goes up to eight inch i believe this is going to be more than enough for you if you have a seven inch tablet if you have an eight inch tablet that's eh, a little stretch but um i was able actually i was able to attach my tablet inside the case so that just worked well let's start attaching that The screen is up. When it's on, you can do many things here. You can tap focus here on the touch screen. Or you can change the f-stop right here. You can change the aperture. You can change the picture style. For example, going to senior style. See, right there. You can open a full screen and all the functions will disappear right here. Just make a bigger screen. You can also do the magnification. When you tap, uh, to, when you tap to this camera, the green camera on the corner, it will bring more options. So uh, some of them is five time magnification. which is really cool, I think. And you go back to one-time magnification, we'll bring everything back. Um, other than that, you can also go to this uh, menu here, live mode, live view, that's what you wanna be at. And you can do a time-lapse also, but for that, you will, we will need to turn off the uh, live view, which is not um, really critical for me because uh, uh, the ADD has already time-lapse built into the camera but uh, if you're using 70D it doesn't it does not have a in developmenter or any other camera that, that does not have in developmenter that actually a really good feature to use I haven't explored that yet because I'm doing this either on my uh, ADD or I'm doing it with Magic Lantern on uh, 5D Mark III 
on a full frame. So you can change the focus type here. You can change the white balance. There's lots of lots of options you can play with. So uh, this is really cool application called DSLR dashboard. Make sure you check that out. So if you're on a budget, it's a great application. They also have another application called DSLR controller and they have about the same amount of, of uh, functions there. For that one, they're charging around $8. Please let me know in the comments below if this tutorial was helpful for you. Like, subscribe, support the channel and thanks for watching. I will see you next time.